Many of you might have encountered these type of fancy animations or any sort of uh, schematics in uh, different publications, right? These are nothing but the homo lumo analysis in drug discovery for the small molecules. And these are the quantum chemistry applications that can be applied to any pharmaceutical science. Those who are doing molecular docking analysis, molecular dynamics uh, analysis, some people or some researchers, they might have not included homo lumo in their analysis pipelines, but this is really, really important. So that's why on this topic today, I'm going to show you how to perform homo lumo analysis and how you can utilize it for better drug discovery. And uh, sometimes you might have also encountered these type of diagrams. Those are the fancy animations and sometimes you might have encountered these type of diagrams. So I'm going to tell you um, every step how to generate these type of diagrams and how to analyze and what basically is homo lumo analysis in drug designing. Okay, so today we'll be dealing with uh, some of the fundamentals and why electronic properties matter in drug designing, some of the tools and methods uh, we can use and some real world uh, pharmaceutical applications and how we can leverage Python based analysis in predicting homo lumo. You don't need any fancy software like Gaussian or any sort of commercial softwares for this. You just need Python script to define all your small molecules that has been interacting with your receptor and for your analysis. So we'll be dealing with that. So let me first tell you what is molecular orbital. Those who might know, they might skip this. Uh, but uh, this is a basically a quantum mechanical description of where electrons are likely to be found in a molecule. And HOMO means highest occupied molecular orbital where it can donate the electrons. And LUMO means lowest unoccupied molecular orbital where it can accept the electrons. Okay. So sometimes you might have seen that some of the small molecules, they interact with the receptor. They can easily lose uh, electrons and they are more nucleophilic in nature. And some of the small organic molecules, they are uh, easier to gain electrons. Those are more electrophilic in nature. And uh, you might also have heard about this term called gap, homolumo gap. So small gap means they are more reactive in nature. Large gap means more stable um, in nature. And optimal gap is the balance between the reactivity and the stability. We are going to analyze the energy gap also by calculating the homo lumo uh, for small molecules, okay? And why it matters in drug designing. So first of all, the binding affinity that you are getting from docking score, that isn't enough uh, to uh, be successful in the clinical mm -hmm. trials. So you have to perform molecular dynamics, uh, free energy perturbations, and MMPBSA, GBSA, and also many other different uh, simulation strategies or bioinformatics strategies. So you know about the ADMET uh, principle where adsorption, uh, your metabolism, etc., toxicity, etc., that comes into uh, role when you try to find out different types of molecules. Okay, so this is also another factor where homo lumo uh, really matters in drug designing so that you can look into um, the atoms present in the small molecules where they can easily donate the electrons and easily can accept the electrons. So these are some of the examples like uh, predicting the drug behavior, safety, toxicity, the metabolic uh, stability and off-target effects, etc. So you can get um, an overall idea about um, your small molecules that uh, you have been screened from Zinc database or from CHEMBL. So you can perform the same uh, homo lumo analysis for that and get a uh, rough idea how your molecules are going to behave in different conditions with different uh, receptors. Okay, so we'll be using DFT PBE0. That's uh, um, one of the algorithms or tools. Um, it's a quantum chemical calculations. The DFT people might know about uh, all these uh, exchange correlation functionals. Uh, and this is turned out to be very good for the organic molecules. It has a good accuracy and speed balance and reliable homolumo 
um, energies. Of course, if you have any commercial softwares, then you might get much better homolumo energies, but for the CPU based, for the wider population, those who do not have access to commercial softwares and GPUs, so they can also perform the same computation on your laptop and it's very easy to use. The next one is 631Z basis that you might have encountered this from Gaussian. So this is basically the mathematical description of the orbitals, you, okay? And, and these are standard for the organic molecules, adequate for the drug-like compounds. Articate, you might have known, I have made another video about Articate, how to uh, perform some calculations using Articate. So the main algorithm that we are going to use is pi SCF, which is for electronic structure calculations. For the homo lumo, people generally prefer Gaussian uh, for the organic molecules, or maybe ORCA, uh, they can also find that interesting. And there are also some other tools. But in Python, pi SCF is more than enough to calculate homo lumo uh, energies for your small molecules. And uh, some of the PyMol scripts to generate uh, these type of diagrams, okay? So uh, what are the electronic properties that we are going to get? So homo energy, which can uh, donate electrons, you know, homo energies. So the optimal range for the gap or the energy is minus six to minus nine uh, electron volts. Lumo is around zero to plus three electron uh, volts. And the gap should be you know, a drug-like compound should have a gap of four to eight electron volts, okay? And the dipole moment, the charge distribution measure, we can also, we are also going to calculate uh, that. And we are also considering the physiochemical properties like molecular weight, log P and TPSA as well uh, for this. For optimal CNS drug, like uh, uh, for the uh, blood-brain barrier, it should be, the polar surface area should be less than, uh, I think, 70. Okay. So these are some of the property, uh, key molecular properties that we are going to calculate. An automated pipeline will be like uh, reading the CSV file with the smiles, okay, uh, generated with the RDKit uh, for 3D structures, optimize uh, geometry using universal force field, and then quantum calculations and then visualization, okay. So we'll be dealing with that. And I will come to this once I uh, do the calculations uh, for you, and then you can proceed. Uh, we, can, we can look into the real um, drug designing examples, how they have been effective. Um, I mean, this homo lumo analysis, how they have been guiding the medicinal chemist to design better drugs, okay? So basically what you have to do is you have to open a terminal and this is the script that I have uh, written. I think I will upload it to my Omixium YouTube um, GitHub repository where you can uh, access this particular script uh, and you don't have to do anything. You just have to uh, prepare a file called molecules.csv. So I'm going to show you uh, the molecules.csv uh, file. So this is the CSV file with uh, ID and your smiles. For instance, I'm taking these three, you know, simple smiles just to show for the um, demonstration purpose. So ID and uh, smiles. So this is your CSV file, okay? And uh, first of all, what you have to do is you have to create an environment that you can do by uh, UV, V, E, N, V. UV is the latest package. I have uh, shown in my previous video how to use UV um, for environment creation. And then what you have to do is you have to install these packages, UV, pip install, plotly, and uh, seaborn, or something like that, uh, or if you have matplotly. For instance, uh, let me install polars. Yeah, it's done already. If you want to install pandas, these are some, some of the standard libraries. Okay, uh, matplotlib, if you know, yeah. So I have already installed it. So you can also install this by using the command uv pip install and uh, uh, the package name. Okay, so I have this script. I have this molecules.csv file. I have this particular script called homolumo nature.py. The reason why I have named it as nature that I have found a paper in nature and um, 
I found uh, the diagrams something similar to this one so that's why I made the script uh, as a nature because uh, it will help me to identify which journal I'm targeting and we, I need uh, something similar to the nature style figures okay so the basic command is python homo lumo you know the python script and then press enter so it will run and you, as you can see here it will create a folder called results and you can see that it is processing the first smile that is mole one okay and it is going to generate these two plots these are nothing but the electronic uh, density of states okay and this is your energy and this is your homo lumo um, energy states and these are your density of states okay so let it process so the first thing that you see here processing molecular um, the molecule one which uh, the homo energy is minus 7.40 electron volts the LUMO is 2.23. I have mentioned uh, in the presentation that the optimal range should be between minus 6 to minus 9, and the LUMO energy should be 0 to plus 3, right? This is what you are getting over here. And the gap is 9.63 EV. Here, the gap is around you know, something around 4 to 8 electron volts, OK? For the mole 2, it's the same, minus 6.40. For the homo, lumo is 2.44, and the gap is 8.83. So this is where uh, you can see the plot from here. And you can see the energies. And also, you can compare it uh, with your terminal outputs. And uh, yeah, this is basically the plotting, uh, uh, plotting uh, of the density of states and uh, uh, homo lumo energies. Also, you get a CSV file as well. So, yeah, and you get a picture of the molecule as well uh, in a 2D uh, diagram. And also, uh, I think you get a combined figure. Yeah, this one. So, we go for the mole 2. Also, you get the same picture, homo lumo and electronic DOS. And uh, you get the 2D uh, picture of this one. And for the molecule 3 also, you get the same um, homo lumo and density of states and this is the picture no 2d picture of that okay and at last what you get is uh, enhanced summary so if you open this so you will see that molecular one molecular these are your ids these are your smiles and what is the method used what is the basis used what's the molecular weight log p number of electrons homo energy lumo energy the gap and uh, these are some of the index numbers for homo and lumo and this is your e total the total energy in hatteries um, and this is your dipole moment okay this is the summary that you get and also you finally get a publication quality figure so that you can use it uh, in your publications uh, directly okay so this is one thing that uh, uh, you can uh, generate and then uh, you will see that you have this pymol script okay so this pymol script what you can do is you can uh, pymol and then you can just uh, simply paste it over here it will open the pymol and it will render um, it will load uh, all the files and for instance, if you want to load mole 3 into this, and then you copy this uh, CDF file, and this is your homo file, this is your lumo cube file, okay? And then you can uh, load this. So file, open, and you go to this uh, particular uh, directory and click on this one so it will start uh, uh, you know uh, generating different types of figures as you can see here it starts generating the figures so up until 180 degrees it will generate all the figures and then finally it will render on your uh, pymol um, graphical user interface so it will take some time 
definitely it is gonna take some time maybe half an hour or one hour for this but uh, instead of pymol i mean pymol can generate very nice figure but also you can open this sdf file in chimera and then uh, you can do uh, you can load the homo cube and the lomo cube from here okay now you get a very a nice picture of this one so homo you can change it to red color something like that and you can see you get a very nice uh, homo lumo uh, gap and you can just change uh, whatever the way you like to change it okay something like that you can define it uh, as your uh, as you wish so it looks like this and you can represent it uh, based on your uh, perspective how you want to represent this in your publication uh, quality figures in your publications actually okay so this is how you perform a uh, homo lumo uh, analysis it's gonna take time so i'm not i'm, I'm going to stop it but i have already generated it this is for uh, only for the tutorial purpose so i'm not going to do that but uh, yeah as you can see here you find you can get all these uh, pictures very nice pictures um, using this particular pymol script i am going to upload on my Umi omixium youtube channel github repository and i will give the link in the description so yeah uh, i mean uh, this is the way that you create uh, homo lumo uh, energies okay uh, and let's go for some of the real drug designing examples this is what you get uh, from the real analysis of uh, drug-like compounds that you have been screened using bioinformatics pipelines so this homo uh, lumo can definitely help you to understand how it is going to react uh, or, or how it is going to be passed through ADMET principles okay these are some of the other examples that you can see but even for the machine learning approach also you can apply that for SAR for QSAR analysis as well so you can take all the features like homo electron uh, homo energies lumo energies and um, your dipole moment uh, the gap the energy gap that you got from this and some of the molecular weights and then try to train the model for your whole smiles file using the random forest or uh, XGP classifier and then you can predict new molecules out of that so this will be a very good project for bioinformatics to predict uh, homo lumo energies and then use those features for a machine learning model okay and uh, you can e these are some of the standard uh, you know algorithms or the tools uh, quantum chemistry tools but you can also uh, use high accuracy tools like DFT uh, 6311 uh, and these are uh, available I think in Gaussian and some of the commercial softwares but you can use uh, these uh, algorithms for the high accuracy but the FTPB0 is good enough for your small molecules I guess so you don't you don't need to worry about uh, computational resources because your CPU your laptop is enough to perform homo lumo uh, analysis and uh, these are some of the future perspectives how you can utilize homo lumo analysis in your drug designing and also in uh, many of the computational aspects especially in machine learning you know that would be really helpful if you get the smiles from zinc database or uh, from uh, chembl or from drug bank then you calculate homo lumo along with the molecular properties then train the model in such a way that you can predict new molecules without any hassle yeah so you go to my github omixium youtube channel and find this directory homo lumo and then you have this uh, script this is my presentation this is an example molecules.csv file these are some of the diagrams and you can find out all the results as well for the molecular one molecule one molecule two and molecule three this is the summary this is the pymol script and this is your publication summary so yeah make sure to check out my um, github channel please subscribe to my channel thank you very much